Hello, Miss Beard, how are you today? Doing okay, all right. Well, my name is Kirsten Martin, and I am a student physical therapist assistant, and helping me today is Zach, and he's a physical therapy aide. Is that gonna be okay with you? Okay, good. All right. Oh, Lauren, okay. Um, can you tell me who you have with you today, Lauren? Okay, well, hi, Angie. It's nice to meet you. All right, Lauren. So, how are you feeling today? I noticed um, in your chart that yesterday you had a little difficulty with being tired and hard, had a hard time. You got a little short of breath. Um, how are you feeling today? I'm still a little tired. Still a little tired? Okay. All right, how about your pain? Could you rate that for me um, on a scale from zero to ten? Zero meaning no pain at all. Ten? Worst pain of your life. How would how would you rate that? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Not too bad. All right. Um, would you can you tell me where that pain is? Right in the lower below the knee. Okay. All right. Um, so if you are still having any difficulty with being tired, I know you said you're still a little tired. Um, breathing and pain gets any worse, just let me know, okay? All right, um, do you mind if I remove the sheet? No, okay. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so I see that you have your legs propped up. Um, do you happen to remember anything the PT um, might have said yesterday about positioning, how you should lie when you're in bed? No, having a little difficulty. Um, does keeping your legs straight sound familiar to you? <laughs> yeah. So we want to keep your legs straight, okay? We don't. We want to keep them extended. We don't want to have them bending like you have right now. And the reason for that is because it can cause some tightness in the area of your knee, as well as since there's a little bending at the hip, it can cause some tightness in those muscles too. And I noticed that you, um, in the, your chart, that you want prosthetics in the future. So that, keeping your legs straight, keeping them extended, as well as your hips, is gonna keep you ready for those prosthetics. It's gonna be difficult for you if you keep them in a pos bent position like that, okay? Using your prosthetics, all right? So if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these pillows from under your legs, okay? Could you lift your legs for me? Thank you. I'm going to just sit these right here. All right. So um, another thing, another easy way to keep your legs straight is, um, do you remember what kind of position you would move into? You try to keep that position often. Do you remember what that is? Yes, that's right. Um, do you happen to remember how to get on your stomach? Well, somewhat of a role. Um, I'm going to work with you on that, okay? So let me sort of button trying to work. Here we go. I'm going to lay you back a little bit to make it a little easier for you. All right. Lower your feet as well. Just trying to keep it straight so there won't be any bending in your knees. So what we're going to do, lower this way a little bit. I'm gonna have you, Zach, I'm gonna have you come over to this side for me, please. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna have you scoot a little bit towards me. Can you do that? All right, good, that's good. So do you remember about where you're gonna do, what you do with your hands when you get to your, on your stomach? That's right, and what about the other hand? Yeah, you sort of like you're raising your hand up in the air, so you just put it above you. It's going to make it easier when you roll over. So now I'm going to get you to go onto your side, okay? I'm going to be right here by you. I actually might raise the bed up a little bit just to help me out, okay? Make it a little easier for me and Zach. Um, so first we're going to – can you scoot over just a little bit? Just a little bit. Tad hair. That's good, right there. So, you're gonna, like you said, position that hand right here, 
And what we're first going to do, we're going to get you on your side, okay? So on the count of three, I want you to roll onto your side. You think you can do that? Yeah. All right. One, two, three. Very good. And while you're in this position, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can try to tie your, um, it's a little stuck, just to, so you won't have your back hanging out. Well, we're going to get there in a few, if you can hold it for a little bit longer, and I will get you on your stomach. All right. So are you ready to go onto your stomach? All right, I'm going to do that one two three all right and so now you can bring that arm down beside you if that feels more comfortable for you all right and so this is the position that you want to lie in as often as you can do you remember how often you want to change your position okay so you want to change your position about every 30 minutes okay so you won't just stay in a position too long because that's when the tightness can start to develop. But in this position, that's going to help keep your hips straight as well as your knees. And if you like, if you have feel a little extra pressure on your back, it's okay for you to put a pillow under your lower abdomen just to help support your back some. Okay. And how often should my sister be doing that? She should do it. Like I said, every 30 minutes, switching positions, so she doesn't, yeah, she wants to do that as often, and lie in this position as often as possible. When she's sleeping, well, well, I wouldn't, as, when she's sleeping, as long as she's keeping her legs straight, I think it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I wouldn't want to wake her up, because that's, that is, that's not fair to her. Okay. Okay. So, Lauren, we're going to go ahead and get you back on your back, okay? So we can start um, working with the wheelchair. So can you um, raise this arm up for me again? And so with this, you're going to use that hand to push you back onto your side, and we're going to do it in three, okay? One, two, three. All right. Now you're going to go onto your back, and so you're going to push with that hand again. And on your back, in one, two, three. Very good. Can you raise up a little bit for me? I think you're, you're, well, no, I think it's okay. All right. All right. So now, Zach, could you take the leg rest off for me and remove the right arm rest? Thank you. All right. So now we're going to get you to your wheelchair. Do you remember how you got into your wheelchair yesterday? Board. Yes, you did. You used yeah. the board. And how did that go for you? Did you have any trouble with that? A little bit. A little bit. You think you can do it? Okay. So we're going to definitely try that today using that board. But first, what I need you to do, I need you to sit up for me. Do you think you can sit up? You need a little help, or are you all the way up? You can do that for me. That's right. Okay. Can now can you bring your legs over to the side of the bed for me? But Very good. I'll also okay. Can you come a little forward off the bed? <laughs> Very good. I didn't even hear the whole conversation. All right. So I'm going to put this around your waist just to help me stabilize you some if you need a little help. Okay. But I want you to do this as much as you can by your, on your own. Okay. Okay. Just going to be here to sort of guide you. I'm glad. <laughs> I bet you are ready to get back. Ready to get out of the bed. Yes, yeah. I'm sure you're ready. And lying down all that time is no fun. So that's why we're getting you up and moving today. How does that feel? Is that comfortable for you? The belt? It's going to be a little snug. All right, let's see. I might tighten it up a little bit more here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and move your bed. So could you raise your legs up a little bit for me? All right, just a little chamber. So I get it. Can you? Feel like it's up under your leg. Can you lean over? Okay, there we go. A little there. Okay. So, the board. Do you remember 
where you place the board. Right under your thigh, that's right. You bring that down, it makes sliding a little easier for you. Right? So, you already remember hand placement. Great, Lauren. Okay, and do you remember why we don't want to get our fingers under the board? That's right. Okay, so I am going to sort of guide you, but I want you to do it, like I said, as much as you can. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna walk your hands around and you're gonna shift your weight, sliding yourself across the board into the wheelchair, okay? So we're gonna do it on three. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, one, two, three. Great job, wonderful. I'm gonna adjust your bag a little bit so it won't be caught around your leg. Right. Let me see. I have a little difficulty there. There we go. All right, I'm going to move that away from you. And Zach, if you don't mind, could you bring me the armrest as well as the leg rest? All right, why these right here? All right, did you talk about um, anything with the wheelchair yesterday? Okay, um, do you remember sort of, well, well, let me put this in here for you. So when we're, that's right. And you're gonna hear a little clicking noise. Um, how about the locks for the wheels? Mm-hmm, can you unlock that for me? So I'm actually gonna move you over a little bit so it can make it easier for me to can you help me out a little bit, Zach. Thank you. To get your leg rest back on. Okay. So these leg rests are important for you when you're sitting in the wheelchair because they are adjustable, so they can move, and it's going to be great for helping keeping your legs wet. Remember how we want to keep your legs straight. Straight. That's right. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna bring your leg up a little bit here. And we are going to straighten that out. And so all you have to do for straightening it out is lift it up. When you want to let it back down, you pull forward. And it's probably going to be great to have your sister Angie do this for you. So Angie, whenever she lets her leg rest down, I want you to sort of help her with supporting down here at the bottom so it doesn't go down too fast, okay? And pulling it up. Yes, but we want her to be safe, okay, um, safe as possible. We don't want to hurt anything. No, we don't want to hurt any. No, we don't want to hurt a leg. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Should I do some frank or no, there might see some swelling in her, the, her residual limb. Could be some different coloration changes, changes in temperature. Those are things to look for with her sitting in the wheelchair. And that's something we'll talk about when we get out in the hallway, okay? All right. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind it at all. We all need to laugh a little bit. <laughs> all right. Can you lift your leg up for me? <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So, Zach, if you don't mind, I'm going to get you to handle the IV line and go, whoops, sorry, go this way. All right, and I want you to lead me, lead lead us out, and can you unlock your wheels for me? Thank you. All right, somebody is eager today. Okay, thank you. She's actually pretty tame for how she usually is. Oh, okay. Can you keep your arms in your lap for me? So while we go through the door, it's a little tight in here. So we're gonna go down this hall. I can do it. All right. So can you lock your brakes for me? I'm just gonna talk about a few things about hand placement. Do you remember where to place your hands to make the wheel? That's right. Very good. 
so when you're moving forward, how are you? do you want your hands to go? In the forward motion, that's right. What about backwards? Going back, and if you were turning, what would you do with that? Which way am I turning? So if you were turning, say, towards